That's it, I just I turned on my video. So, so let me see. Going to where? You're going to Nigeria. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, that's Nigeria. <laughs> my guy is going to Nigeria. <laughs> and sooner he will come back to Ghana again. That's right. That's yeah. right. Bridge, bridge the gap. Tell everybody your name. My name is Fossi. Okay, you got to drive now. <laughs> yeah. And I'll come back to the state to drive Uber over there. That's right, you're going to kill it. We were sitting there chop, you. chopping up game. I was telling them how to make that money with the Uber in the US. And I was telling them about what I did my um, $19,000 in one month uh, Uber challenge. And I was just breaking it down to them to say, hey, listen, if you come over to the States, because that's what I'm, this mask always messing up my beard, I tell you. Um, and so what uh so what we were talking about is how in the in the, if they work like if you bring the hustle from Ghana and other parts of West Africa and you take it to the US you 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 will be a millionaire I mean it's 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 with a, with a game plan keep your living expenses low and they work 24/7 and I see this with uh, a lot of a lot of people from um, like the Latino countries coming up through Central America uh, in in the Caribbean, you just see this hustle, and it's like like they they put it down. And I'm saying, if you bring that hustle and you combine it with the capital that you can make in America and bring it back to your country, that it, it just takes it to another level. So we were we were talking about that. So he's excited because when people can see it, you know, that's the biggest thing: being able to show them the pathway where they can see the possibilities. And, you know, they might not have the, the capital or the money to, to go and uh, spend $50,000 a year uh, on an overpriced um, degree that might not get them anything. So as people are looking for alternatives and other strategies to be able to still make it and, and earn audible, audible living. So, I mean, and that's, you know, so that's what we were doing. And uh, like, I mean, if you ever come to Ghana, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Anyway, I'm on my way to Nigeria right now. And can you tell I'm excited? You know, it's like... I don't know what's on the other side of it. And every time people tell me it's something bad or don't do it or whatever, there's always something good on the other side of it. And and I now go with a, um, a realistic and positive expectation. So Nigeria, I'm coming your way. I'll be there this afternoon. Get ready for more videos and content. Nigeria! Nigeria! Now, you know, a series when a Ghanaian is saying Nigeria. <laughs> You know it's serious when that, when that happens. <laughs> so we, we are telling our stories. We're bridging the gap, not only with uh, like the, the African diaspora abroad, but even on the continent. Shout out to everybody who's, I mean, I'm getting people watching from Angola, from Guinea-Bissau, from Zambia, from the Congo, uh, from Kenya, I mean, from South Africa, and uh, even from in, in European countries. In uh, Germany, people hit me up, and UK and Australia, and of course the US, of course J Jamaica uh, representing strong. And so that's what uh, that's what this is all about. You know, creating, t telling our stories, changing the narratives. We know the challenges that uh, many African diaspora countries have faced as a result of colonization, uh, among other things. But now we can tell the other, other side of the story. And I really get on the level of being with the people because the people, are oftentimes forgotten when you have a 24-hour news cycle that just puts out sound bites that they want to put out. And if you leave it up to BBC and Al Jazeera, everything is all bad all the time. If you leave it up to BBC and Al Jazeera, everything is always bad all the time. And that's, um, that is disingenuous um, um, uh, news reporting, uh, you know, because every time I'm turning on it, and some of the stories that you need to know about but the way that they put that spin on it's like at every turn they try to paint a negative picture uh, of these places and what it does is it, it uh, shapes a narrative so anyway i'm going to be um you know just just sharing people with you you know wherever i go but it, but in particular when i go to nigeria sharing the people and um and sharing the experience and so uh anyway stay tuned next time i talk to you i will be in nigeria Lagos, Nigeria.